Welcome to Jack and Daxter in HD. So, what's up everybody? This is Bade here and today we are going to start a new Let's Play of Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy, the first game in the Jack and Daxter series. I've been waiting to do this for quite some time now. I got this, um, this HD collection, like, um, about a couple of months ago. And we got the awesome title screen here, with all the games. I did just a tad bit, which is 3% of the first game, because I kind of wanted to see. To be honest, there isn't really a major difference, at least in the first game, because, well, it doesn't even look that great to begin with, but I think the HD really shows in the second game and then the uh, third one. But uh, we're gonna start with the first game of the trilogy, the Precursor Legacy. And this this music is just awesome, but I've already listened to it so many times, and I, I kind of just want to get things started, and it's gonna otherwise get boring to you guys, so we are going to get started. But it is the uh, theme music of Jack and Daxter. You can pr pr probably pretty easily find it on YouTube too. So you can go and listen to it. But today the adventure begins. I really love this Jack and Daxter series. I'm just a huge fan of the Naughty Dog games uh, in general. And a long time ago when I was doing Crash Bandicoot games, I said that I would do the so-called trilogy of trilogies. And uh, I did the Crash Bandicoot trilogy. And uh, now I'm gonna be moving up to Jack and Dexter series, and then eventually I will I will do the Uncharted series too. But now it's time for the first game, and we are going to get started pretty soon. There we go, the Precursor Legacy. Let's start new game. Uh, I'm just gonna overwrite this one. Thank you. And I'm gonna shut up now. I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose? And why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Goddamn rocks! Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Ego, one of the wisest men on the planet. <laughs> so it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. Search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. D. Snyder! Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! Man, that 
got stung. I told you we shouldn't have come here, and you listened! What? Okay, okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go. Misty Island. That's right. And then... And, Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man, are you gonna keep yapping or are you gonna help me out of this mess? I'm gonna keep yapping because, in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Carl Acheron, the sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer, at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark, gooey eco stuff, will we? Because I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there before I turn you both into ferns. Here we go. Or is somebody going to keep on yappering? Yes, okay. My father and I can give you advice at any time during your quest. Okay, no. No. These floating egg-shaped things are precursor orbs. Collect enough of them and some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. Sweet. And there's probably going to be more interrupting and shenanigans, I'm pretty sure of. But, uh, alright, now we're just going through this little tutorial chapter. Get out of there. Oh. And there, is that one of those... This is a power yes. cell. The most important precursor artifact you can find. You need to collect 20 of these so I can power the heat shield for your A-grab zoomer. Sweet. And we can do double jump right off the bat. I'm just thinking of Crash Bandicoot games where you have... Oh, the third one where you have the uh, double jump ability later on. Uh, okay, continue, okay. Thank you. Thank you, get out of here. Alright, there we go. The adventure begins. Of... What is... Sometimes you'll want to hit things with a greater force. Yeah, this one. There we go. So what are those things exactly? These little robot things that look like flies or something. I don't know. And does it matter if I collect those HP things that are green? That's blue eco, okay. which contains the energy of motion. Blue eco allows you to run fast, break boxes, and even activate some precursor artifacts when you get near them. Sweet. And is there anything else? Should I go and whatever? Oh, you need to do that. Jumpity jump. Awesome. I don't really care about collecting all these tutorial boxes. Although there may be some use for them later on, but I digress. 
and I shall go. Now each blue eco cluster you pick up increases the time you can use Ooh. its power. Oh, oh. Alrighty. 50, but does it do anything special? Maybe later on, I don't remember. <gasps> this is a precursor door. It can only be opened by approaching the door while channeling blue eco through your body. Through your body. And what do we have here? What is that thing? Hello. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's... That's a blue eco yeah. vent. More concentrated than the floating clusters. This vent will give you a full charge of blue eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. Awesome. So that's better than the one that we got earlier, obviously. Uh, it's probably changed my camera angle because what? 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 Why did I? Did I? How did I? How did I? What? Is there a shark or something here? And my charge is running dry. And why did I? Just, I'm gonna just cut out, okay? All right. So I went back for these uh, little capture things or whatever. And I collected seven of them, and I got another precursor thing, so I'm actually glad that I came back here. But all right, so that's another way of getting those 20 bot power cells. But let's just get on our way, which is this way, I do believe. Whoa! I'm not sure if I can even get hurt while I'm at that thing. But also I found out we can do the long jump like this. So that's awesome. That that's that's something that I'm going to be spamming. And now I'm just gonna good camera angle. Let, let, let's go ahead and do that. And that will open the door. And we got a I think that's the third one. So that's awesome! Alright. Good work. The blue yep. Gimme, 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 gimme. You can breathe energy into all kinds of precursor artifacts that have laid dormant for years. Okay. Okay, okay. Any more eggs or precursor orbs here this way? I should probably just be collecting everything that I can find so that later on I won't be screwed. But how does Was there more here? Can I go to that? Thingy over there, most likely not. I would say. What now? Those little green balls of energy on the ground are a type of eco. Pick up fifty small green ecos, or one big green one, to increase your health. Okay. Oh. All of the eco. Oh. Is there? There's probably. Yeah, no, yeah, okay, okay, good. Just getting familiar here with the controls. Alright, I, I just li like the long jump. It's great. Oh, I didn't see that. And then do that. Oh, wait. Can I? Can I? There's definitely a ledge here. Gays are off. I got everything. Wow. All of the precursor orbs. And there's another. Oh, this thing. Awesome! Now we got four of these power cells. That is a great start in the awesome tutorial world. And now we go over here. Can I? Yes, I can move. But where in the world are we now? No, I'm. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Okay. I'm down here. Is, can I activate this? And well, I think I've collected everything. So. Yeah. All right. All right. Press circle to work. I shall. And I guess this is end of the tutorial, but more yapping, yappering around, I guess. Or. Good yep. Morning, boys. But that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie ahead. Yeah. And in no problem. We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. Now, all of you, 
Get out oh look, they have the Crash Bandicoot flower thingies here. I didn't even remember that. Oh ho, hello there. That's a total reference. Uh, although they kind of look like Dorana flowers, but who cares? Should I? Wait. Some brave adventurers you two are. Best already and without clearing my flock eco harvesters. They're on the far side of the beach, boys. Yes. Now, get over. Hey. Okay, I can stop the animation apparently. But I was just checking. I was just checking, but it's apparently yeah, in the far end of the beach. So I I guess we'll be going this way and almost fell to the river again. Okay, but now the adventure truly begins and we will be starting collecting some random artifacts. This first game, like to be honest, I like the uh, second two games, second one and the third one more than the first one. But uh, this is more of a just a standard basic uh, platformer game, pretty much. But the second game pretty much uh, changed that and uh, it has more variety. And oh, holy crap! It looks like scout flies are all oh, get out of there, boxes. Mr. Krabs! And what else do we got here on the beach? Hello, get out of here! All right, all right. What? Yeah, like like I was saying, I'm more fan of the uh, other two games. Although this is a you know great start to the uh, great awesome series from small begin from the small beginnings, like that one guy said. Right. Uh, wait a minute. What? What? Is that sack that just? Oh, right. Explosion sack from the random random tower. Now, I, how how does this? Okay. Daxter probably said something about that, but I wasn't listening. And there's... alright. Oh! Yeah, I can probably... Alright. If I can lure one of those bombs here, while standing next to this thing, then I can blow it up. But apparently they have pretty small hitboxes. And that will not even... alright, whatever. And there's a birdie! Hello! Hello! Oh! That pelican just snagged a power cell. Let's go kick some big 